All right, well, the Hearn Art Museum is celebrating Black History Month by shining a light on local artists and stories of black history right here in Little Rock. Fox 16's Dorothea Wilson joins us live now from the gallery with more on these important stories. Dorothea? Hi, good morning, Ashley. And I, I would note, I do like this weather coming up. It, we were just talking about the snow and I'm so excited about that. But I am here with Garbo Hearn and she is the director of this beautiful art gallery. Now, here is a place where creatives from all over, especially here in Arkansas, can express their unique talents and their unique gifts. And what a better or what a great way to celebrate and honor Black History Month. Now, Miss Garbo, tell us about this beautiful place. Well, I want to welcome you to Pyramid Art Books and Custom Framing and Hearn Fine Art, where our focus is black culture through the visual, fine arts, and literature. And we focus and we represent local, regional, national, and international artists and authors. We've been around since 1988, so we've met a lot of friends and brought a lot of amazing people to Arkansas, and we are excited about our Arkansas creatives who we have here this morning. Yes, and we're so excited to meet them. We have an artist here from California, but his roots are right here in Arkansas. We have a beautiful Miss Paula Rogers with Paula stuff. I can't wait to talk about her note card. So tell us one unique thing. What's the most special part about this place for you? Oh, the idea of how we can bring people together and how we collaborate and how art is the basis of humanity and that's what we have here. So this is a, a fun place to be and a wonderful place to work because it changes frequently. So it's never, never the same. Awesome. Well, I love that. You guys, we're going to be here all morning. We're right here in the historic Dunbar area. Stay tuned because we have a lot to show you. Right here. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Dorothea. Hi, good morning, Ashley. Yes, we are in a fabulous place, and what a great way to celebrate and honor black history than to be in a place that celebrates the culture, that celebrates the artistry, and just the unique gifts of creatives in this Arkansas area and beyond. Now, I'm here with one of those creatives, and it is Miss Maria Hoskins, yes. and she is an author. And ladies and gentlemen, she's a fascinating woman. I mean, retired from the Department of Justice, so many different gifts and talents. Now, what got you into children's books? The opportunity to share wonderful, positive family stories. So after having the opportunity of being challenged to write the books, I had to determine what did I want to write about. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to write about stories that not only relate to me in my life, mm -hmm. but to relate to every single reader, from the children all the way up to their parents. Yes. Now I understand that there's something unique. There are several unique things that we're going to talk about. And one of those things is all of the illustrations in her books are, they are by local Arkansas artists. Now, why was that important to do? It's important to highlight um, all the art and talent in Arkansas mm -hmm. or people that are associated to Arkansas. Yeah. So each book intentionally is a different illustrator. Awesome. or a different artist, yeah. as we would say. I love yes. that. Now, there is something else unique about your book, and I would love for you to show the people that. So, about these books, these books give children an opportunity not only to read the story, mm -hmm. uh, but to put themselves into the story. I engage in the back of every book. We want children to get involved, learning to read and to love to read and to write, gets them involved by participating by, in this book, particularly down home in Arkansas, creating their own family tree. There's lots of pages on how they can learn about their family history. In every book, we are encouraging students to read and write their own stories. So at the end of the story, not only are they reading my book, now they feel like this is a personal mm -hmm. uh, heirloom for them mm -hmm. because it has their own story mm -hmm. or their own illustrations in the back of the book. Awesome. So when they read it, not my story, it's their story. I love that, giving people an opportunity to share their story. I do also love her why when she went to look for certain books, she couldn't find those books, so she created them. So ladies yes. and gentlemen, if you want to see some of this art, see some of these books, and get some of these books for your own families, you can visit us in the historic Dunbar District. Back to you, Ashley. All right, thank you very much. Hi, good morning, Ashley. Yes, what a great way to honor Black History Month than to be in this beautiful fine arts gallery. And speaking of fine arts, take a look at all of this beautiful art. And it's been sculptured by this 
brilliant artist, Mr. Chutes. Now, Mr. Chutes, tell us, what is some of the inspiration behind your work? Well, I'm inspired mainly by music. Uh, I'm always listening to um, a very eclectic uh, grouping of all types of music. So for me, um, it's not the artist that I'm inspired by, uh, although my wife is my muse for most of the work. It's what music looks like. Mm -hmm. I mean, we hear what music sounds like, but what does it look like? So I'm listening to these great musicians who are actually playing an instrument and um, visualizing what the notes they look like, uh, would look like in form of, of my art. So um, that's my inspiration for, for creating these pieces right here. Now you know what music looks like. Oh, that's awesome. And how creative is that? He's actually depicting what music looks like. I love that. Now, I understand that you are also an author. Tell us about your book. Yes, it's my book, uh, Identity Theft, Creation from a Social Conscience. Uh, it documents our history in my artistic creative form. Um, for years, um, reading about my history and seeing how misinterpreted it was, I needed to interpret it the way I felt it needed to be interpreted. So I'm telling my truth and using my book as a guide for um, researching and understanding your history. So everything you see in that book has been written, photographed, and of course the art is uh, by myself. So uh, I'm using it as, as a tool to learn my identity. Awesome, I love that. And he's also using that tool to share identity with other people, and we love that. Now, Ashley, there is so much more to see in this beautiful building. There's so much rich culture and history encompassed in this art gallery, and I'm so excited to share the rest of it with you. In the meantime, back to you. All right, looks pretty cool. Thanks so much, Dorothea. Good morning, Ashley. So this has been an absolute dream and it's been such a great experience and what a great way to honor Black History Month and to be at this fine art gallery. Now I am here with Paula Rogers, Miss Paula Rogers, and she is the CEO of Paula's Stuff, and boy, does she have <laughs> some stuff. Now, she has a collection or different lines of note cards. Now, how creative is that? Miss Paula, tell us, please, about your note cards. Well, we're excited. We started with our Black Love collection, uh, and we started with um, our hankies. We've got just card note cards for everybody. Um, sandstone from collecting sandstones along the beach, uh, the breast cancer line, uh, they just make it personal so that people can cherish them. Awesome, and what was the inspiration behind it? What caused you to say, you know what, I'm gonna make no cards? Well, I gave cards, and everybody loved the cards that I gave, and they kept them, and they kept them, and I said, well, everybody should get a card that they want to keep mm -hmm. or give a card. Mm -hmm. So my motto is to give, to love, to share. And that's what we do is make the cards so somebody can give them to somebody that they love. Awesome. Now there is one that I love in particular. I think it's this one with the handkerchief. On here, she has a poem that she wrote for somebody that needs sympathy or that's grieving, and she wrote a beautiful poem. And then on, in the inside of it, she also inserted a handkerchief. How creative is that? And I love that. And each of her lines represent works of art, an art that you can keep. Some people, she said, even put them in a frame and hang them on the wall because they're so beautifully crafted. And I really think that this is something that the people need to see and experience. So, Miss Paul. Thank you so much Thank you. for your works of art and sharing them with us. This has been just a beautiful experience. And so if you, ladies and gentlemen, want to take part in this art or get some note cards or thank you cards, you can definitely stop by. We are in the historic Dunbar District right here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Back to you, Thank Ashley. You. All right, pretty cool. Thanks so much for sharing that with us this morning, Dorothea.